Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, we are going to take a look at higher order functions. So as you probably have seen, this is the second part in this two part series where I talk about higher order functions. In the previous one, we took a look at how we can use an, a function as a parameter in another function. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use a function to return a second function. So as you will see, that can be efficient in a lot of ways. And when you get to write more complex code, then this can be a great uh, tool to have in your toolbox. But now let's get to it. Let's take a look at how we do this. So what we need to do is we are going to create a playground again. And I'm just going to call this my playground and I'm just going to save it on my desktop. So what I'm going to start off by with doing is I'm just going to declare a function here. So I'm going to call this func and I'm going to call this function choose func because this is the function that's going to return our second function. And as a parameter, it's going to take a uh, boolean named should multiply. And this is going to make sense in a bit why I called it this, but uh, let's just write out the function and then I'm going to explain it all when we have set everything up. And this uh, function right here is going to return a function that's going to have two parameters. It's going to accept two parameters of type int and that function again is going to return an integer. Now, this might not make a bunch of sense right now, but as we'll see when we write out this function, it will start to make a bit more sense because then we can see why we're doing it like this and see the whole picture. So let's just continue with writing out this function and then I believe everything will become much clearer as we do that. So let's declare two functions here. I'm going to declare one function named addition, not addiction, but addition. And uh, it's going to have two parameters. One that I'm just going to call number one of type integer, and then number two of type uh, integer. And we also need this underscore right here. And the reason that I'm doing that is so that, uh, that when we call this function, let's say I have this function, um, instead of writing number one is equal to 10 and number two is equal to 20 instead of calling a function like this this is the name of the function um we can just do it like this uh we can remove this completely and just write the value and the argument so that's the benefit of having this underscore and this function is going to return an integer and all the whole function is going to do is it's going to say number one plus number two Oops number two and this is the number that it is going to return and let's just copy this function and paste it in here one more time so as you can see here we're starting to nest functions we're writing functions inside of functions and the, the reason for why we're doing that let's call this multiplication the reason for why we're doing that is because we want this whole function to return one of these functions. So instead of returning a result, this function, the, the main task of this function is to return another function. And that's what we can see up here. This function is going to return another function. That's going to accept two parameters of type integer. So that's basically what we have declared here. We have two functions and both of them have parameters of type integer and two of them. And this function that this function is going to return is again going to return an integer. As we see here, that is the case. Both of them are returning integers. So now we can uh, use these two in order to return a function. The way we do that is we're going to say return and then we are going to um, check against this boolean right, boolean right here. Should, should multiply question mark multiplication i'm going to explain this in a second so that this also makes sense and then addition so what we are doing here is we are checking if should multiply is true if it is true 
we are going to return this function right here, multi the multiplication function. If should multiply is false, then we're going to return the addition function. So all that we're doing now is that we're giving this function when we call it a boolean of either true or false. If we give it the boolean true, it's going to return the multiplication function for us. If we give it the boolean false, it's going to return the addition function for us. So let's store this function right here in a constant that I'm just going to call my func, which is equal to choose func. Let's see, choose uh, function, and I'm just going to pass it uh, the value or the argument true. And because I return it true, uh, my func is now equal to um, multiplication. So because this choose func, when we call it, it returns a function, either this function right here or this function right here. And the return value is then stored in the my func constant. So my func is now equal to this function right here. So now we can use my func in order to call it like we would any other function, my func, and then give it the two um, arguments, which we can say is 10 and 10. And we should now get 100 as a result. Okay, yeah, uh, we need to have a multiplication sign here and then everything should work a bit better. And now we should get 100. Is that also the case? Yes, it is awesome. And now let's see when we ch change it to false, what happens then? And we should now get 20 and we do. So let's just go through this uh, one more time. Just make sure that this is clear. Now, if it isn't clear, you could also set it on pause and just think through uh, from uh, one stage at a time what this function is actually doing here. So what we have done is we have created a main function um, and it accepts an argument of type bool. So when we call this function, we give it the, bool the argument either true or false when we call this function. Now, this function right here contains two more functions. It contains the function addition and it also contains the function multiplication. Now, based on what we pass it, if we pass it true or false, this is going to return either the multiplication function or the addition function. Now, we can also see this up here because as we see, the function choose function returns a function that accepts two arguments, uh, both of type integer, and this function right here returns an integer. This is exactly the same structure as we have right here and right here. They accept two arguments of type integer and return an integer both. So when we then, um, based on if should multiplies true or false, we return the different uh, functions and then we call this function right here with the argument false. And as a result, it is choosing the addition function. So my func is now equal to this function right here. And then we can call this function like any other function by doing it like this. And as you see, it's a very easy way of um, choosing between functions. I can simply say true here and then I'm calling a totally different function. Now, there are, of course, a um, more efficient way of doing it if, if this only was our program. But when you start to make more advanced programs, then this can be a very useful function and a very efficient way of doing things. So hopefully you enjoyed my second little video on higher order functions. If you did, and if you haven't already checked out the first one, I would encourage you to do so. Uh, other than that, Make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for future videos. And then I want to thank you for watching this video.